What a difference one person can make. When you feel a complaint coming on, bless instead. If someone feels like a thorn in your side, bless him or her. One more time. This lifts you out of the mode of complaint. Feel the difference between your want to complain and your lack of giving blessing. What a difference. Imagine the difference one person who turns his complaint into a blessing can make. Imagine the difference two people can make. Imagine the difference 10 people giving simple homes pun blessings can make. Imagine the difference 10,000 people can make, and why not? Then there really might be nothing left in the world to complain about then. If you have a complaint, you may have good reason, yet it doesn't matter whether you do or don't. Life is not about being justified in your annoyance or short or long-lasting aggravation for even downright suffering. If you would rather list your complaints, go ahead. This may well be what you have been doing right along. A question to ask yourself is, where does complaining get me? I would say it digs you into a rondel of more and more complaints. Dear ones, complaining. Whether rightly or wrongly doesn't matter one whit. Complaining takes you where you have been. When you complain, no matter the various causes and expressions, you are saying, for me. Where you have been is pseudo victorious in your victimhood. Do you want sympathy more than you want freedom from complaint? Transform yourself into a real life blessing right now. Wherever you are, you can do this. In the middle of anything. You can do this. To become one who blesses, takes a very few words. Say the words internally. Say. Bless you. Or, God bless you. Or may you be blessed, or may all blessings reach you, or may blessings from my heart reach your heart. Etc. And don't argue with yourself. No longer say to yourself, yeah, but. When you bless, you are blessing the one who rubbed your heart the wrong way. Primarily, you are blessing yourself. One who blesses is blessed. You release yourself from bondage. Blessing someone is a short trip, whereas complaining goes on and on and around and around. Furthermore, when you bless, you bless the world, and, if I may say, you are blessing me. Honestly, as it has been, you may feel that you cannot complain enough, is this not true? Complaining is like scratching an itch. You can scratch and scratch. And yet you are still itchy. Consider that there is a bomb you can apply to the itch. Concerning the itch to complain, there is a bomb called blessing. Catch yourself when there is a complaint ready for you to tell the world about. Change the whole pattern to a simple blessing. Be done with complaining, or you could continue complaining your whole life long. Put an end to yourself talk about what's wrong with the weather and a dozen other things. Don't belabor your complaints even to yourself. Note you will have more energy. You can always conjure up a new complaint. For heaven's sakes. Complaints are waiting in the wings constantly. There is no dearth of complaints. When you are complaining, you are harboring complaints. You might as well set complaints up on your mantelpiece. Be attuned to me, and not error. Hold no one responsible for how you feel but yourself. If you don't like the way you feel, think different thoughts, and your feelings will change. I give you today one simple formula. I hesitate to say that this formula is guaranteed to work. I hesitate because you might try to prove that this may work for some. And I am mistaken because this formula is not foolproof. You may prefer to debate. Than to grow. Now. One more thing. You could legitimately ask me. God, how can I bless disease for instance? Let me tell you how. Bless illness to its journey home. You could say, illness. May you become a blessing of good health and be welcomed with open arms everywhere. Yes, it is my will for you that you bless complaints to leave. And that they come back as blessings.